Hello Internet, I've got something super duper cool for you today. It is the latest Comcast Xfinity cable box right here, and it is the latest Xfinity remote right here. So I'm really excited to see what these devices are like. So I'm going to unbox them, or more like unwrap them, because they're just in plastic. Plug them in, get them set up, get using them, and it'll be fun. So here we go. Okay, so first let's remove the wrapper from the cable box. So. Here it is, that's very cool. And it's covered in this little plastic around the edges on the top, so let me take that plastic off. Okay, so in the back, it's got an HDMI out, a cable out, and a cable in. In the front, it just has the Xfinity logo, and on the top, it has the power button. Let's take a look at the remote now, removing it from the plastic. So, take that off, oh yeah. So here's the remote, it comes with a little user manual, start. And then the top is covered with plastic over where I'm assuming the IR blaster is. And then it's covered with this little paper that says Xfinity voice remote. I guess I should just rip this off. So here we go. And that's off. Right here it says pull. Okay, I'm pulling it. Oh, there it goes. So one more thing to sort of unbox, the power cable for the cable box. And that's just in a little plastic baggie, not even sealed. Also has a little twine around it. Take that twine off. Okay, so now I've got the box plugged in over here. Uh, it has a blue light, so now I am going to turn on the TV. Uh, just let me get the TV remote. Welcome, connecting to your entertainment experience. I'm going to go with English. Okay, so it just had me confirm my phone number. Now it says verifying your information, so it's verifying the phone number. Now name your device. Xfinity. This is exciting. Now it's all working. I can watch whatever channel is on Xfinity. So when I go to change the volume, it says, let's set up your remote. Basically, you have to set up so this remote can change the volume on the TV and also turn the TV on and off because this is the Xfinity remote, not the TV remote. Would you like to control your Panasonic TV using your new remote? Yes. Okay, so that's not working right now. I'm trying to turn up the volume and the volume's not turning up. Okay, so it's telling me more steps to do. I accidentally pressed the wrong button. I don't even know how many times I've tried at this point. It still doesn't work. Okay, now the remote's not working with the cable box. Okay, so I'm gonna try to remove aim anywhere control even though I didn't set that up. Now the remote works. Okay, so if any of you at home are having a problem with your brand new X1 Xfinity TV remote, all you have to do, well, at least all I did, was remove Aim Anywhere control. It says how to do that in the manual. Now everything seems to work. So, time to play with the TV. The interface looks the same as with the old cable box, so maybe there's not much new software. What I really want to try out is the voice feature, which is activated by this little microphone button. What should I do? Okay, that didn't work. What should I do? Ooh. It knows what I said. So it has some TV recommendations for me over here. Find the latest Jason Bourne movie. Okay, I recognize what I said. And I can pre-order it. What good movies are there out? Okay, Day of the Outlaw and Warlock. I think it was trying to look at the outdoor channel. Those don't look like popular movies out. What are people watching on TV these days? Uh, it just searched what? That is not helpful. Show me popular shows. So maybe that, maybe it'll work like that. And now it searches for popular. That's not helpful, Xfinity. Find Modern Family. Okay, it can show me a TV show if I tell it the specific name, I guess. What can you do? Oh, this is helpful. It can tell me all the different things I can ask for. Uh, search for shows or movies, change channel, get sports scores, that could be nice. Quote movies, that's cool. So I guess if you quote a movie, it can show you which movie that quote is from. Search for shows, okay. Find actors, directors, and music artists. Sports, okay. Recommendations, general knowledge questions, set a recording, access multicultural content, define money. Okay, cannot define money, but it can show you stuff about business and finance. It is seriously hard to remember to hold down the button, I don't know why, at least for me. Give me some TV recommendations. I like comedy. Okay, now it's telling me what is on right now. I guess, oh, and it also said recommendations aren't available. Show me some good comedy shows. Okay, can do that. It can show me shows on demand in the comedy genre. Tell me what movie I should watch. Okay, it's just showing me what's on again. Let it go. Okay, so it does work with movie quotes. I just quoted Frozen, as you can see, and it pulled up Frozen. So yeah, those are the new Comcast Xfinity remote and cable box. The cable box, it's smaller, and the remote, it has that 
feature where you can talk to it and tell it what you want your TV to do. However, that feature is sort of iffy at this point. Plus, you could run into issues setting up your remote with your TV to get your remote to be able to change your TV's volume and turn it on and off. If you're an Xfinity type of person and you don't mind the bugs and the difficulty of setting it up, then I guess you might want to check out this box, but if you don't have Xfinity and what you have is working for you, you should probably just stick with that. So that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe to the Wear Notice YouTube channel. It would make me very happy. Wear Notice, out.